a little bit of senility creeping in. He's valiantly trying to hold on to his sanity, which I identify with entirely. <laughs> and, uh, and so you could do anything, and it would be permissible. I mean, you could stand on one leg and talk. For example, every so often, for the four and a half years that we did it, I would be asked to say something like, uh, we'd be talking, what are you guys doing there? <laughs> You're wondering the we'll same thing. It. <laughs> That's funny. So I'd be talking and I'd say, no, no, where are you going? Stay right here. <laughs> and then news, I, I'd say, so uh, that's a pink tie and cue the music. Exactly. <laughs> what, what, what is this line? Cue the music? What is that? How do I say cue the music? Do I say it to the pink tie? What do I say? How do we do cue the music? And that went on. You know, I, I, do I make my entrance here? And lines like that that take you right out of, and I kept asking the, the director and people, how are you, do you have any idea how to do this? They wouldn't have any more idea than I, so i just say it somewhere. I lead my life like I was on a television show. <laughs> but of course, it explains everything, you know? How's my makeup? You know, that kind of thing. Doesn't matter, I lead my life like I'm on a television show. Had he said it four years earlier, I would have known how to, to play it. So there was all this unexpected stuff that this crazy guy could get away with and do. There, I, I, like, I'm thinking, what impression? They had a needle sticking out of my forehead. You remember that? Yeah. Where they did Botox and I jumped up for some reason and the needle for the Botox was still sticking in my forehead. I walked around with a needle in my head wondering, like, hello, and there's this needle. And, uh, it's absolutely absurd and, and it's almost unreal and yet the unreality became a reality. So that was a great fun about, uh, about whatever we're talking about. <laughs>